A man spins rapidly on the carousel, unable to stop despite the discomfort. Suddenly, the motorcycle powering the carousel catches fire. Two wrongdoers unable to assist. Firefighters swiftly arrive, extinguishing the flames, then rush to aid the man. His enormous eyes startle the firefighters, as they find his pupils severely dilated. Treatment begins with saline drops into his eyes, gently pressing his eyeballs back into place. Soon, the man's vision returns to normal. Yet, the two wrongdoers lurk in the distance, filming. A female officer promptly arrests the pair. The hot girl died despite rescue efforts. Firefighters, however, wore smirks on their faces, completely indifferent to the man's grief. Just a moment ago, firefighters received a call. The man claimed his girlfriend slipped and fell off the cliff. Onlooker, however, said he saw the man push the girl down the mountain. Firefighters descended to the cliff and flipping the girl over. Oh. No way. All right, talk to me. Both assured the man didn't commit murder. The captain asked for the situation. She, she was never alive. She's a sex doll, Cap. Now everyone was dumbfounded. Do you want to try mouth to mouth? I don't know what you meant. Do you know what's the matter? It turns out, the man was grappling with some sort of attachment issue. He had been with his girlfriend for over two years, but today he showed up to end things. You can't let go of a bad relationship. The firefighters decided to help the man. So, everyone sprang into action, adeptly rescuing the girl. Finally, under the watchful gaze of everyone, trying hard not to laugh, the woman's heartbeat became flatlined. With tears in his eyes, the man bid farewell to his girlfriend. You may not have saved her, but I think you saved me. That's what we're here for. The woman unzipped her pants, then started peeing, until the boss yelled loudly. She noticed the camera was still on, thinking the comedy had ended, but the amusing scene caused the bearded man to choke on his sandwich. But nobody noticed, because his chewing was too loud just now. His colleague asked him to mute. Is him? Yeah. Yes. That's my bad. He had to repeatedly hit his stomach with the chair, eventually fainting in front of everyone. Quickly, 911 got the call, then firefighters showed up on camera. After using the Heimlich maneuver, the man finally coughed out the sandwich, and he was saved. Then, the firefighter turned on the microphone. He's gonna be alright, but uh, tell your friend, smaller bites. Have you ever experienced choking before? The man is sunbathing, but suddenly the sand around him starts sinking. He immediately shouts for his friends. However, when they arrive, the sand is sinking even faster. The two friends resort to throwing a blanket to him from a distance of 100 meters, but the man is too weak to catch the blanket. Just then, his girlfriend happens to pass by, picks up a skateboard from the beach, lies on it, let the two friends hold onto her legs. Finally, she grabs the man's hand, but can't prevent him from sinking, as he is about to be covered by the sand, the girlfriend produces a hose from the air, inserts it into the man's mouth, allowing him to breathe. Just as the girlfriend is also about to be pulled down, the rescue team arrives. They extract the steel wires from the winch of their machine, extend them beneath the beach, secure the man's hand. With the help of the winch, the man is finally pulled to the surface. A millionaire hired someone to take care of his pet. $50,000 per week. The man was very happy, but as soon as he saw the little cuties, his expression changed immediately. The millionaire even asked him, Beautiful. Out of respect for the money, the man reluctantly agreed. Satisfied, the millionaire grabbed his suitcase and went on vacation. At first, the man took care of them cautiously, with a disdainful look on his face. But over time, he began to get used to the job and gradually saw the charm of the spiders. I think I might actually be starting to like the little demons. Just didn't expect these little cuties would also fall for him, crawling into his bed to spend the night together. When the firefighters arrived, the man was already wrapped in layers of spider silk. Fortunately, he still had vital signs. They cut through the web. No! Oh! Oh! Okay, and eventually rescued him. $50,000 a week to take care of spiders. Would you be willing? The man's butt was covered in oil, cause he got stuck in the window. A moment ago, the man's wife wanted fried chicken. Luckily, the fried chicken place had a special. One dollar for 12 pieces of fried chicken. But the man only got nine pieces. When he argued with Looks the waiter, like the waiter actually said, she doesn't need any more nuggets. The man frowned, saying he's fat is okay. Saying his wife is fat is not. Then, when the firefighters arrived, the man was already stuck in the window. The firefighters had to cover his lower half with lubricant. But no matter how hard they tried, the man couldn't get out. So, the firefighters had to smear lard on the man's butt. 
Finally, the man was rescued. The hot girl secretly put on her sister's ring. To her surprise, her finger was swollen like a balloon. She even resisted to take off the ring. Turned out, her sister inherited the ring from their mother. The girl was extremely upset, even wanting to fight. But her sister said, you've got the villa. Why be so greedy? The girl was still unsatisfied. While her sister was asleep, she stole the ring. And then her finger become like that. The medical staff insisted to saw off the ring quickly. But the sister was reluctant, because this was the only thing their mother had left for her. The medical staff ignored her protests and promptly cut the ring, giving the ring to the girl and the diamond to the elder sister. Do you think the medical staff is right? A help note came out of the ATM. The hot girl didn't even have a look and threw it directly into the trash. Then another old man came to withdraw money. The note appeared again. He could faintly hear cries for help. The old man thought it was a prank show. Whatever show this is. At this time, a woman came to withdraw money. The note read, ATM, no cash until call 911. The girl quickly dialed 911. The firefighters arrived soon after and found the trapped man. I don't know the savvy person. The hot girl was live streaming in the sauna. Suddenly, she slipped and fell headfirst onto the scalding hot stones. The stones emitted white smoke and made a sizzling sound. Soon, the dispatch center's phone lines were flooded. Netizens from all over the country called in to report the incident, but no one knew her exact address. The operator quickly found the girl's social media account and searched for useful location information in her photos. They soon pinpointed the girl's location. When the firefighter found her, she was already unconscious, her face severely burnt, and stuck firmly to the stone. The medical team had to resort to using salad oil, spraying it onto the stones, while the dude slowly and carefully pulled the girl's face. Finally, the girl's face was pulled free. It seems she had to stop broadcasting for a while. A frog fell from the sky into the black man's mouth. His daughter panicked and dialed 911. When the rescue team arrived, they were shocked to see frogs everywhere. A little girl spotted them and immediately shouted for help. When July opened the black man's mouth, she found a frog inside. The captain tried to grab it with tweezers, but the frog reacted strongly and went deeper. The man started having trouble breathing. July quickly hugged him and pressed his belly hard. Suddenly, hail started pouring from the sky. Firefighters quickly made a human shield to protect the injured. Soon the sky cleared, the disaster was over, but where were the frogs from? The baby slid out of his mother's birth canal. When the doctor was about to deliver, the mother suddenly tore the umbilical cord. Luckily, the doctor acted quickly, moved the baby away in time. To protect the child, the doctor had to contact welfare services. However, the baby's heartbeat suddenly rose to 180 because there was a lot of heroin in his system. It turned out the woman was a drug addict. In order to ease the baby's symptoms, the doctor suggested the mother hold the baby. However, the woman was unwilling because she didn't even know who the child's father was. The doctor had to tell her holding the baby would waive the hospital fees. Then, the woman agreed. When the baby touched the mother, he instantly stopped crying. At that moment, people from the welfare agency arrived. Considering the mother's addiction, the baby had to be separated from her. I'm his mother! The woman cried out, but everything was too late. Do you think she is a qualified mother?